Hey everybody, welcome to our live stream. We're here in uh, Redmond, Washington, checking out all the cool uh, vehicles that are, have been outfitted with Microsoft. So right now we're in the back of this really dope Suburban. Let me switch them around. There's a lot of different data uh, that are within the vehicle. Everything video, from an in-car camera. We can actually that kind of shows how the, the vehicle can be we have a taken anywhere. We have a 360-degree spherical camera. Um, the camera itself is cool GPS located. Cams, launch right, drones. The drones from the vehicle. Uh, while on the really move, talk about power, there's a lot of applications for military, racing, emergency responders, media, media. The data is amazing, but it's really the exciting for us. Decent speeds, which are only gonna, so no to the speeds are only gonna go up. It's a basic package, not bad. Globally on the move, let's take a look around. So, if you think about this vehicle and what the, there she is. <clears throat> Give you an idea. There's my hand, and there's the thickness of the antenna. So, if you look underneath, well, we've got this roof rack. In there you can see the buck and there's just a few cables. It makes a small penetration right there into the uh, into the vehicle. You see another one on that other truck there. This one has the antenna sunken into the back of a uh, Land Cruiser, brand new Toyota Land Cruiser. Take a look inside. So all these vehicles are just a little different. This one's called the Tactical Edge. Some of the sponsors there. Microsoft is a big one. Nice workstation. It shows you the specific information and performance of the uh, the antenna. What's going on? What's nice is these antennas don't have any moving parts. They're electronically steered. This is a <clears throat> inverter, high direct modem, Kaimeta, and the Giro gateway. I'm not really sure what that is. Take a look at some of the other ones here. There's another mounting design here. Buck is there. This is running Blue Force Command, which is a different system made for first responders, tactical clocks. Some of the other vehicles we have going on here. Inside the Land Cruiser, they're almost done with this guy. They're going for a very sweet VIP looking solution. Hardly noticeable, except that buck hanging out of the roof. It's really clean. VIP uh -huh. solution. So the command is in there. Actually, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a full antenna is just sunk into the roof. They've added a couple fans for cooling. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. a solution for VIPs, civilian armored cars, first responders. Always on connectivity. Anywhere that Toyota is going to take you.
Yes. So you make the antenna. Yes. And you really need to go on This one's really neat. It's called the Kygo. They've, uh, they built that unit into the, uh, the case. And uh, it really doesn't matter if you point this in Like the satellite's just right about there. So if you want, you can move it left, right, whatever. And it's going to stay online because it's digitally pointed. So it's operating for the radio. It's really cool. It just makes it easy to pop the lid. Put the unit up. You will need to know the direction, east, south, north, and west. And it does look like there's a, a small, like 2 dB performance when you angle the antenna up versus it being flat. But that also depends on where in the world you are, closer to the equator or further away. That's going to change. Really exciting new technology. Uh, apparently, Microsoft is invested in the case of that was invested in this. Beautiful thing is it's kind of future proof where this is another application yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. built into a case and combined it with a so what cradle point router and that allows them to switch between cellular and satellite networks. And also that's future proof of this means this thing can track two stationary satellites or low earth orbit satellites like maybe the new ones from SpaceX. Amazon. But right now we're uh, tracking Galaxy 18 on uh, Intel. Uh, Intel. That expands the range of so, frequency. Uh, a lot of people here today, a lot of VIPs, high profile government check out the operations. Checking it all out. It's cool nice stuff. Cool. Yeah. Take a little rest in the AC. <laughs> got over here. We got uh, center touch screen, exterior touch screen, NVR. This one on watch the TV. Pretty cool. Nice server racks, UPS, access points. snack <laughs> so nice command vehicle made by uh, one of the partners Nomad Global Communications Yes, for our Sprinter fleet at satellite phone store. Did it break the connection when you no, I'm tilted still it? Up. You're still up? I'm at 2, two dB SNR. I was just telling her that I've seen this thing work into negative 2 SNR. Still passing the, the... Yeah, right? Right? With other networks, we're losing it when we drop below 6. And then right. we can't get back on unless we get up over 8. And that's what I'm used to, to as well. But this being velocity, they, they do this uh, mod cod switching on... Yeah. 
dependent on the modem, what the modem is allowing as a threshold? Or? Yeah. Yeah. But, so yeah, I'm going even more. So what's that theta say now? 75. 75. 75. And the, and the SNR. Minus point five. SNR is minus point five. I still have network, so even pointing the wrong way almost. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm asking about low elevation angles and stuff. So it's basically just simulating. Ah, yeah, a real sharp angle, like an eight degree or a ten degree. Yeah, it's like fifteen degrees. Which is usually what we get. <laughs> We're in the field. Yeah. yeah, right. I mean, that's what it always ends up being, right? You're like, well, gee, we only have 10 degrees. Well, are you that far north? Sometimes the satellites are that far, yeah, yeah, that far yeah. east or west. Like, they yeah. always happen to be wherever you're not. <laughs> right. That's exactly what happens. I know that one. You're always right on the edge of the beam, no matter where you are in the world. <laughs> So what's, for all of our Facebook viewers, can you explain the magic of the Chimeta, how it actually does this? For a simple person, like a high schooler, how would you explain that? That, that blows my mind even. Yeah. So it, it, it forms the beam holographically. Um, it, it's using liquid crystal. So electronically, it's, it's manipulating these crystals within the liquid crystal display, if you will, All right. to holographically form a beam that's less than two degrees broad to shoot up to the satellite that's 22,000 miles away and to receive, so, you know, the transmit and receive are two different frequencies, so it has to form beams that will cover that, that range, actually it's a, I think it's 100 megahertz, something like that. Um, did you, uh, did you want to show, are you doing a... Yeah. Life thing. Mm -hmm. Did you want to show them that uh, augmented reality? Oh that, yeah, that's yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. Let's do that. I never know when I'm standing in front of it. <laughs> well, that's why we put it around. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> around the other way. <laughs> so this is a neat virtual reality app that Kaimeta has established. It's going to be out in the market soon. And what this does is gives you a nice display. It shows you. What's going on with this antenna? Angle the, eye, the device just a little bit so we can get a better view. Okay, there we go. Almost. It's a lot of glare. Yeah. We can move it out in the sun too if you'd like. Let's try the side. Okay. Because it doesn't change that light to get the strongest and like every minute. Alright, a little better. And that's tracking a. Um, that's a Leo. I think that's doing a Leo satellite, sorry. Do a geo. There's a geo. So if you want to follow me, follow my display. There we go. All right. Oh, that now that that is Leo. Sorry. Is it not? Geo. There we go. So to recap this, basically, there's hologram. So there's there's a, it's the same as a liquid crystal display. There's a there's a there's crystals, liquid crystals embedded in, in, in inside the antenna that is electron. They're electronically manipulated to form a, a holographic beam in, in the direction of the satellite, so that the RF energy that is emanating from the face of the dish is 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 concentrated within that beam to shoot up 22,000 miles to the geo stationary side. Ooh. New technology, y'all. We're excited. Look for it soon at Satellite Foam Store. We're gonna have a fleet of these in the to rent. Come into our showrooms, check them out. Again, nice VIP, sleek install. I'm at a cruiser. Tactical. Oof. A little warm up here in Washington.
mistake today. Not bad. If you guys enjoyed our, our video here today, and leave your comments, and Kymeta and Satellite Operators would be happy to, uh, to answer it for you. Uh, I'm going to be hanging out here for the next couple days, and then our team is all getting trained on this new technology really soon, so uh, you can stop by any of our offices or call in and talk to us. We'll be happy to brief you guys and set up some demos. Look forward to using this new technology in off-road racing and emergency response, and just anyone who wants to connect anywhere in the world without having to point an antenna or figure out where a satellite is. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this uh, live stream. See you guys.